Hey, what's up guys, Alex here, thank you for checking this video and welcome to a quick bug fix of the series of tutorial on how to build a premium theme for WordPress. Welcome again, as I said in the introduction, this is a quick bug fix. Basically, um, a user flagged me the other day that there's a small problem with the gallery post format option in our theme. And the problem is that if you have multiple galleries post format on the same page, the two elements, the two sliders, they don't work properly together. So for example, I created another gallery post format here called gallery two and I have my original one. If I see the thumbnail here in the first carousel works properly. So the thumbnail of the next one works and the thumbnail of the previous one, it's all consistent. But if I go and check the previously uploaded gallery post format and I see the thumbnail, the thumbnail are exactly the same as the first gallery post format so they're not even like uh, changing while I'm clicking but they change based on the sliding of the first gallery so the thumbnail of the most recent gallery are affecting the thumbnails of the least recent galleries and this is a small issue due only by the JavaScript and then how I wrote the JavaScript or hopefully how you wrote the JavaScript like me. So the user that flagged me this issue is Mark Waters. Thank you so much, Mark, for flagging this problem. He suggested a solution to uh, check the ID of the specific gallery container of the specific slider container and use that ID as a reference for all these function. Um, it's okay, his method is really good. He actually uh, did a push commit on the GitHub repo of the Sunset theme. I'm gonna merge it on a different branch so you can check his solution. But I decided to extend his solution and apply a more streamlined, less uh, heavy code solution. So less code written with a better optimization of our CPU usage. So basically here we have to just write a simple JavaScript fix, especially a jQuery fix to prevent the thumbnail of one carousel to affect the other. We already have the unique type of carousel. So even if this class is used on multiple carousel, we can loop through this class and apply all these functionalities only to the elements that are inside this specific class. So if we use the carousel as a first element, for example, you use like carousel find also for the thumb, this is not gonna work because the carousel, as I said, this class is used twice on our single page. So to avoid this issue, we have to loop, we have to force this function to loop through all the carousels that we have in the page. To do that, we have to use the simple uh, jQuery function called each. So let's select with dollar sign our carousel. And then let's use the function dot each and no parameters needs to be passed to this function. This function basically is gonna recognize how many elements, how many uh, classes or mm, DOM elements in our HTML structure are present inside this variable and is gonna loop for as many time as is necessary. So let's just create the function inside because inside the each brackets, we can specify what we wanna do and I wanna create a function. So let's create a function. Let's open the function. And inside here we can copy paste all the code that previously was outside. Let's create a little bit of space so it's easier to read. And now instead of using carousel, because if we still use carousel, it's gonna just refer to the simple single first class of the first carousel, we have to replace the carousel with the this reference. So basically, every time we loop inside this each function, this carousel or the class that is currently looping inside the each is going to be applied dynamically to the this uh, global sort of global variable. So it's a variable that we don't have to declare, but it's going to grab automatically all the information that 
uh, are gonna be stored from the each function. Now that we are using as a container the actual current carousel, all these functions are gonna be applied only to each one of those carousels and not to all the carousel in the page. So let's go back in our front end. Let's refresh. If we go on top, at the first one, our carousel is working and the thumbnail are working. If we scroll down to the second carousel, the thumbnail are working as well. So we fixed the issue with the two carousels by simply replacing uh, or extending the function that we created by forcing the function to loop as many times as is necessary to uh, crawl all the different classes contained inside our carousel variable. So this was a um, nice bug fix video, super quick, just to show you uh, the issue that I wanted to address before I keep going with other tutorials. And thank you so much for your suggestion. Thank you so much for flagging this mistake. Of course, this stuff, they happen pretty much <laughs> often. <laughs> like They happen really often because I, I don't prepare these lessons before, I just code what I wanted to create in the moment and most of the time I just code, I check if it works and that's it, I pass to the next topic. I don't do a full debugging or testing process. So I'm really grateful for you guys if you spend time and checking and testing if the code that I generate, it actually uh, probably works on every platform, device or whatsoever or in every situation. So. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you again, Mark Waters, to flag for flagging this issue. And keep doing what you're doing. Keep following, keep sharing, keep learning. And as usual, guys, thank you so much and happy coding.